Hey everyone, welcome back to Pureology. Today we're comparing the 5070 Ti versus the 9070 XT in Escape from Tarkov. Although the retail MSRP of the 9070 XT is closer to the 5070, its performance is much closer to the 5070 Ti, and that's pushed its street price right up alongside it, usually landing somewhere between $800 to $1,000 for either of these cards. So if you're building or upgrading your rig specifically for Tarkov and trying to decide between these two GPUs, this one's for you. But before we dive in, just a quick note, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one optimization, consultation, or troubleshooting for your gaming PC, this is a perk available to Purology Titanium members once a month, so if that interests you, make sure to check it out. Now let's get into the comparison. For this test, I was running my Ryzen 7 9800X 3D tuned with a plus 200 MHz boost clock override and a minus 40 undervolt to get the most out of the chip. It's paired with 64GB of DDR5 at 6000 sealed 30 with tightened secondary and tertiary timings. If you want all the tuning details on the system, check out the link in the upper right hand corner. Storage is handled by a Gen 5 Aorus 10K M2 and everything is running on a Gigabyte X670E Aorus Extreme motherboard. The 5070 Ti is an MSI Shadow 3X overclock model. The 9070 XT is an ASRock Steel Legend. As for the game settings, I use my Pure 80 optimized preset, which is my high texture preset for the best visual to FPS ratio. If you want to see a full breakdown on those settings, check out the video in the upper right hand corner. Each test was run three times per resolution, 1080, 1440, and 4K, in offline and online raids and streets and customs. I then took those averages and compared those numbers. So let's get into the results. In streets offline in 1080, the 5070 Ti edges out the 9070 XT by about 4 FPS on average, but the 9070 XT actually has slightly better lows. In gameplay, both feel nearly identical. At 1440, the 9070 XT pulls ahead on 1% and 0.1% lows despite nearly identical averages. Again, both feel nearly identical. In 4K, this is where the 5070 Ti takes off, 32 more average FPS and a big win on lows. The 9070 XT struggles a bit here by comparison. While both cards will max out 1440, we can see the difference in raw power when we go 4K. Moving on to the online tests, in 1080, both cards are nearly tied across the board. You won't notice a difference during fights or movement. In 1440, same story here, performance is pretty much dead even. Either card handles it well at this resolution. In 4K online, the 5070 Ti clearly wins here with 18 more average FPS and stronger lows. Just keep in mind, neither of these cards are true 4K cards, so most users will probably be using upscaling, meaning DLSS or FSR, if running in 4K, and then that would essentially re-level the playing field. Moving on to the customs offline testing, the 5070 Ti has a massive lead in 1080, nearly 40 FPS more on average and stronger lows. In 1440 the gap shrinks a bit but the 5070 Ti still holds better averages, both handle the map well at this resolution. In 4K, once again, the 5070 Ti takes the lead, 29 more FPS on average, and smoother lows. In live raids in 1080, surprisingly, the 9070 XT takes the win with 10 more FPS and stronger 1% and 0.1% lows. This translated to a smoother online experience. In 1440, the 9070 XT holds its lead here with better lows across the board. At 4K, the 5070 Ti dominates again, 30 more FPS on average, and noticeably better lows. In 4K native, we can see the raw power difference. When it comes to temps and power draw, these two cards are pretty evenly matched. The 5070 Ti pulled an average of 218 watts across all tests and hovered around 61 degrees Celsius under load. The 9070 XT consumed slightly more power at 226 watts on average, but ran cooler overall, maintaining a 56 degree average throughout. So which one's the right one for you? On paper, the 9070 XT launched at $599 and the 5070 Ti at $749. That, in my opinion, would make the 9070 XT the no-brainer pick for a 1440 build hands down but in reality neither of these cards is selling anywhere near their msrps most listings have them floating between 850 to a thousand dollars or more with the 5070 ti usually costing a little bit more than the 9070 xt in tarkov both cards can easily max out the cpu at 1440 on high settings so performance wise you're in great shape either way the 9070 xt ends up being the better value overall since it's typically cheaper it also supports fluid motion frames for 
for those of you looking to push frame gen. That said, the 5070 Ti is a bit stronger overall, and DLSS 4 is currently the best anti-aliasing solution in the game. I still need to test smooth motion in Tarkov and see how it stacks up against FMF, so stay tuned for that. So I think the 9070 XT, if it's cheaper, is a better deal. Sometimes they're the same price, and in that case, the 5070 Ti is a better choice because it does have a little bit more raw power. At the end of the day, these two cards are essentially neck and neck when it comes to 1440 performance. Both are excellent choices for that resolution. The 5070 Ti does have a bit more raw power for native 4K, but realistically, neither of these are true high performance 4k cards without upscaling and once you enable upscaling like dlss or fsr you're effectively bringing performance back down to that 1440 range where both gpus really shine so if you're looking for the best value the 9070 xt usually comes out ahead if you're just looking for the more powerful option between the two the 5070 ti is the stronger card all right, that's all I got for this one. If you found this comparison helpful, you might also want to check out my 9070 XT versus 7900 XTX video. The XTX is another strong competitor within the same price range. If you got something out of this video, consider dropping a like and subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and keeps content like this coming. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.